Politics of Latvia The politics of Latvia takes place in a framework of a parliamentary representative democratic republic, whereby the prime minister is the head of government, and of a multi-party system. The president holds a primarily ceremonial role as head of state. Executive power is exercised by the government. Legislative power is vested in both the government and parliament. The same that the judiciary is independent of the executive and the legislature. The Economist Intelligence Unit has rated Latvia as flawed democracy in 2016. On March 19, 1991, the Supreme Council passed a law explicitly guaranteeing equal rights to all nationalities and ethnic groups and guarantees to all permanent residents in the Republic, regardless of their nationality, equal rights to work and wages. The law also prohibits any activity directed toward nationality discrimination or the promotion of national superiority or hatred. In autumn 1992 Latvia re-implemented significant portions of its 1922 constitution and in spring 1993 the government took a census to determine eligibility for citizenship. After almost three years of deliberations, Latvia finalized a citizenship and naturalization law in summer 1994. In the 5 June 6, 1993 elections, with a turnout of over 90%, eight of Latvia's 23 registered political parties passed the 4% threshold to enter parliament. The Popular Front, which spearheaded the drive for independence two years previously with a 75% majority in the last parliamentary elections in 1990, did not qualify for representation. The centrist Latvian Way Party received a 33% plurality of votes and joined with the Farmers' Union to head a center-right coalition government. Led by the opposition National Conservative Party, right-wing nationalists won a majority of the seats nationwide and also captured the Riga mayoralty in the 29 May 1994 municipal elections. Asin co-observers pronounced the elections free and fair, and turnout averaged about 60% in February 1995. The Council of Europe granted Latvia membership. With President Bill Clinton's assistance, on April 30, 1994 Latvia and Russia signed a troop withdrawal agreement. Russia withdrew its troops by August 31, 1994, but maintained several hundred technical specialists to staff and its monitored phased ray ABM radar station at Skrunda until August 31, 1998. The 30 September-October 1, 1995 elections produced a deeply fragmented parliament with nine parties represented in the largest party, the newly founded centrist Democratic Party Simniex, commanding only 18 of 100 seats. Attempts to form right-of-center and left-wing governments failed, seven weeks after the election, a broad but fractious coalition government of six of the nine parties was voted into office under Prime Minister Andrus Skell, a non-partisan businessman. The also popular president, Guntis Elmanis, had limited constitutional powers but played a key role in leading the various political forces to agree finally to this broad coalition. In June 1996, the Seima re-elected Elmanis to another three-year term. In the summer of 1997, the daily newspaper Diana revealed that half the cabinet ministers and two-thirds of parliamentarians appeared to violate the 1996 anti-corruption law, which bars senior officials from holding positions in private business. Under pressure from scale, several ministers subsequently resigned or were fired. However, after months of increasing hostility between scale and leading coalition politicians, the coalition parties demanded and received the prime minister's resignation on 28 of July. The new government was formed by the recent Minister of Economy Guntars Krasts. It included the same parties and mostly the same ministers as Skell's government. It pursued the same course of reform, albeit not as vigorously. In the 1998 elections, the Latvian party structure began to consolidate with only six parties winning seats in the Seima. Andrus Skell's newly formed People's Party garnered a plurality with 24 seats. Though the election represented a victory for the center-right, Personality conflicts and scandals within the two largest right of center parties, Latvian Way and the People's Party, prevented stable coalitions from forming. Two shaky governments under Wheelis Christopans and Andrus Skell quickly collapsed in less than a year. In May 2000, a compromise candidate was found in the form of Andrus Berzins, the Latvian Way mayor of Riga. His four party coalition government lasted till 10 next elections in 2002. In 1999, the Seima elected Vajiravik Freiburga, a compromise candidate with no party affiliation, to the presidency. Though born in Riga in 1937, she settled in Canada during the years of the Soviet occupation, 
becoming a well-respected academic in the subject of Latvian culture. Since her election, she has become one of the most popular political figures in Latvia. Local elections in 2001 represented a victory for the left of center parties in several municipalities, including Riga. A leftist coalition in the Riga City Council elected Gunders Bojars, a social democrat, to the office of mayor. Between local elections in 2001 and Saima elections in 2002, two new parties formed, the conservative New Era Party led by Einars Reps and Christian Democratic Latvia's First Party. Both of them promised to fight corruption and made that the most important issue in 2002 elections. Six parties were elected to Saima in 2002 elections. New Era Party with 26 seats out of 100 became the largest party in the parliament. Several previously successful parties such as Latvian Way and the Social Democrats did not reach the 5% threshold of the popular vote needed to be in the parliament. This was mostly due to voters perceiving these parties as corrupt. After elections, Einar's reps formed a government consisting of his New Era Party and three other parties. In 2003, Vyara Vike Freiberga was re elected to the presidency for the second term, until 2007. On September 20, 2003, Latvia voted to join the European Union in a referendum. Virtually all of major political parties and major Latvian language media supported the yes vote. Latvian government also spent significant amount of money for the camp again. The No campaign lacked both funding and media access. Out of voters who participated in the referendum, 66.9% of cast votes in favor of EU. The vote was largely along the ethnic lines. It is estimated that 84% of ethnic Latvians voted yes, while 91% of ethnic Russians voted no. After the referendum, Reps's government started to fall apart and he eventually resigned in January 2004. A new government, led by Andulis Emsis, head of the Conservative Union of Greens and Farmers, ZZS, was approved by the parliament in March 2004. The government was a coalition of the ZZS, the People's Party, TP, and the Latvia's First Party, LPP. The coalition had only 46 out of 100 seats in Latvia's parliament, but was also supported by the leftist National Harmony Party. TSP. After the Saima did not accept the budget for 2005 proposed by the government of Indulis Emsis, the government resigned out on December 2, 2004. Agers Kalvitis became the new prime minister and thus head of the government. Kalvitis was the first prime minister in the history of post Soviet independent Latvia whose government was re elected by an election in 2006. New Era Party, however, weakened, so a coalition reshuffle took place and a four-party center-right coalition emerged. The government lasted only until December 5, 2007, when Kalvitis resigned due to his continuous and unsuccessful attempts to dismiss Alex Laskutovs, the head of NOB, the state anti-corruption agency, after Laskutovs had investigated shadowy matters of the PM's party. After negotiations, a crisis-handling government was formed, with the participation of the same parties, led by former Prime Minister Rivers Godmanis, a respectable public figure, and member of Latvian Way. The government tried to impose austerity measures, with moderate success. This was accompanied, though, with a widespread public opposition, which resulted in two referenda, one on pensions, the other on constitutional amendments, which would have allowed the electorate to initiate the dissolution of the parliament. Both of the referenda failed, but the country entered into the worst political crisis since the independence from the Soviet Union, together with the economic situation severely deteriorating, due to the world financial crisis. The popularity of the governing parties melted and was below the parliamentary threshold. By the end of 2008, parties had a hard time agreeing on further budget cuts, mainly in the social sphere, the planned reorganization of the government, and layoffs. On January 13, 2009, there were severe riots in Riga, with protesters attacking the building of the parliament. The president Valdis Settlers gave an ultimatum to parties, saying that should they not agree on constitutional amendments about the dissolution of the Saima, he would dissolve the parliament by the end of March. After background talks and a failed vote of no confidence, Prime Minister Rivers Godmanis chose to resign in late February. On 26 February, Zettlers nominated the candidate of New Era Party, MEP Valdis Dombrovskis to the post of Prime Minister. After talks, on March 4, 2009 five parties confirmed their participation in the coalition, New Era, People's Party, Union of Greens and Peasants, for Fatherland and Freedom-LNNK, and Civic Union. 
The current edition of the citizenship law was adopted in 1998 after much debate and pressure from Russia and European Union, amending a more restrictive law, initially passed in 1994. In accordance with law, Latvian citizens are those who had Latvian citizenship prior to June 17, 1940, and their descendants. Those who settled in Latvia during the Soviet occupation, with exception of those who did so subsequent to retirement from the Soviet army, or were employees, informers, agents or safe housekeepers of the KGB, or of the security services, intelligence services or other special services of some other foreign state, can obtain Latvian citizenship via naturalization. Other categories of persons not eligible for naturalization include convicted criminals, state officials and servicemen of armed forces of a foreign state, members of Communist Party as well as members of certain affiliate organizations, who, after January 13, 1991, have acted against the Latvian state. Naturalization criteria include a conversational knowledge of Latvian, an oath of loyalty, renunciation of former citizenship, a five-year residency requirement, and a knowledge of the Latvian constitution. As of November 2005, about 109,000 persons have applied for naturalization and about 103,000 of them have been granted Latvian citizenship. In 2006 approximately 18% of the total population, 420,000 inhabitants of Latvia, slightly less than half of ethnically non-Latvian population, have no Latvian citizenship. Most of them have Latvian non-citizen passports, which give them a status similar to permanent residency in other countries. They can reside in Latvia indefinitely and obtain most of public services, for example, education and health care, according to the same conditions as the citizens of Latvia. Non-citizens of Latvia cannot vote during municipal and state elections and are not allowed to work in government. The police and civil services. Several foreign nations also treat citizens and non citizens of Latvia differently, admitting citizens of Latvia without visa but requiring visas from non citizens. Russia used to have an opposite practice, requiring visas from both citizens and non citizens of Latvia, but allowing non citizens to travel to Russia with a cheaper visa. As a transitional clause, the Latvian law allows dual citizenship for those who were forced to leave Latvia during the Soviet or Nazi occupation and adopted another citizenship while away from Latvia. In order to be eligible for dual citizenship, they had to claim it by July 1, 1995. After that date the other citizenship must be renounced upon the acceptance of the Latvian citizenship. Latvian is the sole state language in Latvia, while the threatened Livonian language also has official status. All other languages are considered foreign by the law on state languages. The Latgalian written language is also protected as a historic variant of the Latvian language. Two parliamentary parties, Harmony Center and Forol, have requested that Russian, 26.9% of inhabitants, according to the 2011 census, are Russians, be given official status. Since 1999, the education laws have forbidden the public universities to instruct students in languages other than Latvian, there are exclusions made for linguistics, some international projects and non-budget groups. The law included a provision allowing for instruction in Latvian only in public high schools since 2004. Following large-scale protests in 2003-2004, the law was amended, requiring instruction in Latvian within at least 60% of the curriculum. The president is elected by parliament for a maximum of two terms of four years, by secret ballot and by an absolute majority of the vote, Constitution of Latvia, Articles 35, 36 and 39. The president is a largely ceremonial head of state, and in common with other presidents in parliamentary republics, the president of Latvia has influence and authority rather than power. Although the president is formally the commander-in-chief of the armed forces, signs treaties, represents Latvia abroad, and officially appoints ambassadors and other key officials, these powers are constitutionally exercised on the binding advice of the Prime Minister, who is politically responsible for them, Constitution of Latvia, Article 53. The President does, however, have personal discretion over the proposal of legislation to the Parliament, vetoing legislation, calling referendums on legislation, and nominating the Prime Minister. The President also has the right in extremis, to call a referendum on the premature dissolution of Parliament, if the referendum is passed, Parliament is dissolved, but if the referendum fails, the President must resign. The Prime Minister is appointed by the President. 
The Prime Minister then chooses the Council of Ministers, Cabinet, which has to be accepted by the Parliament. The Parliament can remove the Prime Minister and Cabinet by means of a vote of no confidence, Constitution of Latvia, Article 59. The unicameral Parliament, Seima, has 100 members, elected for a four year term by proportional representation with a 5% threshold. The parliamentary elections are held on the first Saturday of October. Locally, Latvia elects municipal councils, consisting of 7 to 60 members, depending on the size of the municipality, also by proportional representation for a four year term. Judges' appointments are confirmed by parliament and are irrevocable, except on the decision of the Judicial Disciplinary Board or on the judgment of a criminal court. There is a special constitutional court, with the authority to rule on the constitutionality of laws, whose members must be confirmed by an absolute majority vote of parliament, by secret ballot. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.